Severe MMA. We're at Unit 7 Gym, Manchester, and we're alongside the UFC's <laughs> newest signing, yeah. Mark Bonecrush of DKZ. First off, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, it's, you know, it's a long time coming. But my question is, were you surprised at the speed in which it's come? Were you expecting maybe to have to have another couple more at the, at the UK level, the European level, before the uh, UFC? No, no, I, I, thought I, was, I thought I was ready. I don't, I don't feel like, after my two performance that I've done, uh, my two knockouts, I do feel like they, they wanted me. So, yeah, but I, obviously I wanted to fight for the world title. So, the, the aliens come now, I've got it. So, I'm just, I'm just happy that I've got it. So, now I can just showcase my skills on the bigger stage, which I'm happy about. A Manchester show as well, so you get to do it in the UK, not too, too far from home. How exciting is that for you? <laughs> well, like you said, uh, I've had two, two well, not, not close, but I've had two of the main guys I've usually beaten, uh, Jack Magan and uh, K. Moon Seville, close to Manchester. So I think I've kind of like pulled that crowd towards me. So I do feel like I'm going to have a lot of people watching me and uh, I've got a lot of ex expectation that people are going to be expecting from me. So I'm just excited to showcase my skills. No opponent announced yet because it's very early days, but quite Quite frankly, does it matter to you? It does not matter. Anybody. Anybody that get matched does not matter. I just want to showcase my skills. That's what matters. One of the problems UK fighters have, especially when they make it to the, the biggest stage, is well, we have a very tribal kind of following culture here. It's a very football sort of culture. For those who haven't seen you fight yet, I mean, and I don't know, they must have been under a rock or something. How would you describe what you bring to the cage? I bring excitement. <laughs> you won't, you not, you won't be disappointed if you come and watch me. I bring excitement. Everybody say, say it. I always bring excitement. I, I, I basically I fight for crowd. I like to hear like cheering, be happy. If it's not, then obviously you, you're boring. So can, can you can you recall how long your last two fights in total lasted together? Was... A, a minute. Yeah. A minute, wasn't it? It's, it's out of defense. So I'm I'm excited, <laughs> and I won't be doing more than that. You've also you've had a teammate, you know, Scott Askham's been here, been here, been to the UFC, fought there a few times. Has he been able to pass anything on you? Has he been able to give you any advice or say anything to you about what to expect? He's not really said anything, but I truly just follow what he does. I just do it. You see him, how he's worked his way up over to the UFC. He's putting a lot of work, and I'm just doing exactly the same. And Let's give Bama a shout out as well, because quite frankly, there was probably, you know, I know they're in Dublin in September, but it was going to be Mark Diacasi and, and, and Stapes for the, for, the, for the world title, you know, and th they've allowed the release a little bit. How you went from the regional circuits yeah. to Bama, where you've developed into a UFC fighter. Just how important was Bama for your, for your growth and the opponents they got you? Uh, well, personally, I, I, I feel like Bama is the, well, the biggest show in Europe. Apart from UFC, because I, I, I personally couldn't see, couldn't see myself fighting for any other shows in Bama. And that's why I signed a uh, multi fight contract with them. So I really appreciate them for like, releasing me to go into a bigger stage. I think a lot of people know of other promotions that send fighters to the UFC, but people have kind of forgotten that Bama have done the same thing. You know, start with Leon Edwards, Scott Ask, and yourself. And these are guys that have stayed for more than two fights. Do you think Bama helped prep you for, for your UFC debut? I don't feel that, yeah. I don't feel like, obviously, we don't, we don't sort of get enough credit for that type of fight we're producing, but I think I'm the first one <laughs> to get out of there. <laughs> are you, you going to climb out? Are you climbing out from Scott Askham Shatter now? Is it, is it going to be, is it all going to be about Mark Diacasey? No, Scott is going his own path, and I've got my own path. You know, we, we, we like to like help each other, but he's going his own path, he's doing the thing I'm doing my thing. Both the world's, yeah. bo both we, the world's we, a world title. I, I dreams we like to both have titles and sitting back somewhere in America somewhere and smiling, say we did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, a couple more questions, we'll let you go. You know, the, yeah. you, you find out you've been signed to the UFC, arguably the biggest news a fighter can, can receive in their career. Can you remember what, what was running through your head when you found out? I don't know, first thing I was thinking, Oh, I need to put on a show now. I need to put on a show. I I'm, I'm, I'm all about a show. So I'm thinking about I need to put on a show now. I'm excited. That's all I'm just, even now, I'm still thinking about I need to put on a show now. That's it. That's it. Wow, well, you make your debut. It's either going to be October 8th or October 22nd or somewhere around there. Yeah. In Manchester, Mark the Bone Crush Dia Casey, the next UFC lightweight from Britain to make some noise. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much.